we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Hush, my darling, gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. As I sit alone in my car, staring at the hospital entrance, I find myself singing the same words over and over and over. The hospital. Again. But this time, I was the one that had to walk away. A few minutes ago, I handed over Kane's medical binder, made sure Dad had as much information as I could provide, and gave up the control of being the medical mom. The tears started to form as I listened to Ellen's song and watched Harrison and Kane walk hand in hand through those doors. Hush, my darling, gonna be okay. COVID protocols mean only one parent can go in with Kane. Today, it's Harrison. Because today I choose to make myself and my mental health a priority. As I drive home, I think of all the moments and memories I've documented for families over the years. A flood of images come to mind. Kids and their families, the spaces where their stories have taken place, where they have cared for each other and been cared for, the supporting characters connected to their stories, and the way the details pull it all together. Today, I choose to make myself a priority. These stories mirror my story the same but different. And while that's part of what I love, it's also what makes it hard. Hush, my darling, gonna be okay. As I flip open my laptop and grab my notebook just in time for my storytelling course, I think of all the surgeries and appointments Kane has endured. I have photographed all of it from our days in the NICU to his heart surgeries, from parking lots to x-rays, from exam rooms to echocardiograms. I have photographed our story as a way to process it. Hush, my darling, gonna be okay. I have photographed it as a way to show that I was there too. Today, I choose to make myself and my mental health a priority. I choose to focus on my own story as a woman, a mother, a wife, a caregiver, an advocate, a photographer, an educator, my story as a medical mom, because I was there too. But today, I wasn't. Today, I was taking care of myself and my mental health. What one thing will you do today to take care of your mental health?